Great news! Congress has just approved a $5,500 direct payment for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries. This is a huge financial boost that will help many seniors and those in need. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about these payments. We'll start by explaining who is eligible to receive the $5,500. You'll learn if you qualify and what you need to do to make sure you get your payment. Next, we'll go over the payment schedule so you know exactly when to expect the money in your account. We'll also talk about how this payment will affect your existing benefits, ensuring you have all the details to plan ahead. To make things easy, we'll provide clear, step-by-step -step instructions on how to ensure you receive your payment without any issues. We want to make sure you can take full advantage of this important financial assistance. In a groundbreaking move, Congress has approved legislation that will deliver $5,500 direct payments to millions of Americans receiving Social Security, Supplemental Security Income SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI, Veterans Affairs VA benefits, and qualifying seniors. This unexpected development comes as a response to ongoing economic challenges and the rising cost of living that has been particularly impacting vulnerable populations across the nation. The newly approved bill, tentatively named the American Economic Security Act, represents a significant shift in the government's approach to providing financial assistance to its most vulnerable citizens. The legislation targets individuals currently receiving benefits from Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or VA programs, as well as seniors who meet specific income requirements. The Internal Revenue Service IRS, working in coordination with the Social Security Administration SSA and Department of Veterans Affairs, will be responsible for distributing the payments. According to the bill, eligible individuals should begin receiving their payments within 30 days of the legislation's enactment. The program will be funded through a combination of budget reallocation and new revenue sources, including adjustments to corporate tax rates and the closure of certain tax loopholes. While currently structured as a one-time payment, the bill includes provisions for reassessment based on future economic indicators. For many Americans relying on fixed incomes, this $5,500 direct payment represents a significant financial boost. To put it into perspective, this amount is equivalent to nearly three months of benefits for the average Social Security recipient, about six months of regular payments for SSI beneficiaries, more than three and a half months of typical benefits for SSDI recipients, and roughly three months of benefits for veterans receiving average disability compensation. For seniors not currently receiving these benefits but meeting the income requirements, this payment could provide a substantial financial cushion, potentially covering several months of expenses depending on individual circumstances. The decision to provide such a significant direct payment comes after months of intense debate and negotiation in Congress. Several factors contributed to the eventual passage of this bill, including persistent inflation concerns, economic uncertainty, the challenges posed by an aging population, rising healthcare costs, and a bipartisan recognition of the need for substantial action to address the financial challenges faced by benefit recipients and seniors. Implementing this program will require extensive coordination between several government agencies. The SSA, VA, and IRS will collaborate to identify individuals who qualify for the payment based on their current benefit status or age and income criteria. Most recipients will receive their payments through the same method they currently receive their benefits direct deposit for those with bank accounts on file and physical checks or debit cards for others. Eligible individuals will receive notifications by mail and where possible by email or text message, informing them of their eligibility and expected payment date. To support this massive undertaking, a dedicated hotline and website will be established to handle inquiries and address concerns related to the payments. The IRS and partnering agencies will also implement enhanced security measures to prevent fraud and ensure that payments reach their intended recipients. The injection of billions of dollars directly into the hands of consumers is expected to have significant economic implications. Economists predict a surge in consumer spending, particularly in sectors like retail, healthcare, and home improvement, small businesses and communities with high concentrations of benefit recipients and seniors may see increased activity. Many recipients are expected to use the funds to pay down existing debts, potentially improving overall financial health while others may choose to save a portion of the payment, providing a buffer against future economic uncertainties. 
However, there are concerns that the influx of cash could contribute to short-term inflationary pressures in certain sectors. While the legislation has garnered significant support, it's not without its critics. Some voices of opposition argue that the cost of the program could contribute to an already high national debt. Questions have been raised about whether a blanket payment to all beneficiaries is the most efficient use of resources, as opposed to a more targeted approach based on financial need. Critics argue that one-time payments, while helpful, don't address the underlying issues causing financial strain for these populations. There are also concerns about the government's ability to efficiently distribute such a large number of payments in a short time frame, and some argue that the focus on current benefit recipients and seniors may overlook other vulnerable populations facing financial hardship. To understand the real-world impact of this legislation, perspectives from various stakeholders have been gathered. Sarah Johnson, a 68-year-old Social Security recipient, views the payment as a godsend, allowing her to finally tackle necessary home repairs without dipping into emergency savings. Mark Rodriguez, a 45-year-old SSDI beneficiary, expresses gratitude for the help but hopes it leads to more discussions about increasing regular benefits to keep pace with the rising cost of living. Financial advisor Emily Chen is advising clients to think carefully about how to use this money, suggesting that paying off high-interest debt or investing in home modifications for aging in place could be wise moves for some. Economist Dr. Alicia Ramirez notes that while the economic stimulus effect could be significant, it's important to watch closely for any inflationary impacts especially in sectors catering to seniors and individuals with disabilities. Small business owner Tom Sullivan expresses cautious optimism, hoping that increased customer spending could help offset rising operating costs. Looking ahead, policymakers and economists are already considering the potential long-term impacts and follow-up measures. Depending on the economic impact and public reception, there may be discussions about implementing similar direct payments on a recurring basis. This legislation could spark a broader review of the adequacy of current benefit levels across Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA programs. While the financial boost may provide temporary relief, it could also intensify discussions about addressing the root causes of high healthcare costs for seniors and individuals with disabilities. The one-time payment might highlight the need for more robust retirement savings programs, potentially leading to new policies encouraging or facilitating long-term financial planning. But economists will closely study the effects of this payment on various economic indicators, which could inform future policy decisions. The distribution of these payments may reveal strengths or weaknesses in the government's payment systems, potentially leading to technological upgrades. There may also be increased emphasis on providing financial education and counseling services to help beneficiaries maximize the impact of both one-time payments and regular benefits. For those who believe they may be eligible for the $5,500 payment, it's important to take certain preparatory steps. Verify that your address and direct deposit information are up to date with the Social Security Administration VA or IRS as applicable. Stay alert for official communications from government agencies regarding your eligibility and payment details. Be cautious of potential scams, remembering that government agencies will not call, email, or text asking for personal information or fees related to these payments. Consider creating a plan for how you'll use the funds before they arrive, possibly consulting with a financial advisor if needed. While details are still emerging, it's wise to anticipate and prepare for any potential tax implications of the payment. Lastly, maintain documentation related to the payment for your personal records and in case of any future inquiries or audits. The approval of $5,500 direct payments to Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA beneficiaries, and qualifying seniors represents a significant development in America's approach to supporting its most vulnerable citizens. While the immediate impact of these payments is likely to provide much-needed financial relief to millions, the long-term implications remain to be seen. As the program rolls out, it will be crucial for eligible individuals to stay informed about the distribution process and to plan thoughtfully for the use of these funds. Meanwhile, policymakers, economists, and community leaders will be watching closely to assess the broader economic and social impacts of this unprecedented move. This legislation may well mark a turning point in how the nation addresses economic security for its aging and disabled populations, whether it leads to more permanent changes in benefit structures, inspires new approaches to healthcare and retirement policy, 
or simply provides a one-time boost to millions of Americans, its effects will likely be felt for years to come. As we move forward, ongoing dialogue between policymakers, beneficiaries, and the broader public will be essential in shaping future initiatives aimed at ensuring the financial well-being of all Americans, particularly those most vulnerable to economic uncertainties.